Interesting. Very interesting. Hello, human. Thank you for being on the channel. We are three episodes into Miss Marvel, and episode three of Miss Marvel is the best one of the bunch, partly due to what I have on screen here. Her powers remind me of a Green Lantern. Now, you're going to have those humans like, but in the comics, she's an inhuman. I know that. That's why, I, that's why I'm saying her powers remind me of a Green Lantern. It ain't supposed to be. It's supposed to be an inhuman. Now, you're going to get those humans like, well, but, but they might reveal it in episode five or six that she's an inhuman. You just have to be patient. And I'm just like, look, I know. I saw it in the episode, right? You got the blue arm and stuff, the Kree. The Kree created the Inhumans. I already know all about the history and stuff. And look, there's a bangle on that Kree's arm. That Kree got fucked up, but the Kree, well, whoever that Kree was, was rocking that bangle. And we know that Kamala Khan is rocking the bangle. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes in life, it's like you just need to just do the shit right instead of coming up with all this shit that don't make any fucking sense. Just do the character from the comics. But... Family is mentioned so many times in this particular episode that I thought I was watching a spinoff of the Fast and the Furious. I kind of halfway was expecting Dominic Toretto to walk through the door like family because you have some Jin in this episode. Right. And uh, they're also like clandestines or something like that. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's that that could that could be a problem d depending on how mad they get. And they were after Kamala because they was like, look, Kamala, you're going to help us get home. You're going to figure out how to do this interdimensional travel, and we're not asking. We're, we're basically telling you. And if you don't do it, we're going to kill you, your family, and your friends, and even the mailman. Don't piss us off because you don't want to anger a Jin. And there was a bunch of them and stuff, and they had some pretty cool fighting skills. So I was like, yeah, these Jin, they ain't playing. So sometimes in life, you got to just do what somebody wants unless you just know how to use your powers and stuff, and you can just whoop their ass. And Kamala, she did some stuff instinctually, but she still needs some more training. You better train it up with Bruno, Kamala, because these Jin, they're not playing around. When it comes to desperation, that is a serious thing. But you got to wonder, like, why y'all trying to get home? How come you're not already at home? Is it because you got banished? Is it because you were fucking up and they was like, nah, we good. You can't be at home anymore, so we're going to send you to the worst planet in the universe called Earth. Is that what happened? Is that what happened, Jin? Huh? So you got to just think about these things. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's a fun show, but... It's not great. It's like one of those things that you watch to pass the time and you can get some enjoyment out of it. But when you compare it to other comic book shows, I'm like, this shit ain't that good. It's just fun. You know what I mean? If it didn't exist, I'd be like, OK, but Miss Marvel in the context of the comics, she's a trash character anyway. I'm just being real with you. The only thing that's interesting about her is her being an inhuman in the comics because you see her around Black Bolt, the inhuman royal family. You know what I'm saying? They even made her a nice little get up. And then she was rolling around with Lockjaw and shit, the teleporting dog from the Inhuman Royal Family. And then she was even doing some missions with Wolverine. So in the context of the show, I feel like Amon Vellani has given some creative life to the character to where when I was reading her shit in the comics, I was like, that shit is boring. The only time I started perking up while I was reading her shit was when it was showing me other characters in relation to Marvel lore. But um, the show is fun. You know, shout out to Amon Vellani. You know, she's adorable. And she kind of reminds me of Kate Bishop with her personality. She like, I feel like Amon Vellani and Kate Bishop would get along because their personalities are literally the same shit. You know what I'm saying? You just you really. Am I the only one that noticed that that Kamala Khan is just like Kate Bishop? I'm just throwing that out there. But fun episode. Not great. The show doesn't need to exist. But we'll see what happens because. When Miss Marvel teams up with Captain Marvel, we already know Miss Marvel gonna steal Captain Marvel's thunder. She only made her a billion dollars because they shoehorned her in right before Endgame. But since Captain Marvel ain't got no personality, she be walking around with an attitude and then no expression on her face like she ain't been fucked in years. I'm like, yeah, she got a problem. Miss Marvel being adorable and relatable, you're gonna be like, yeah, of course you're gonna cheer for her more. So it look like Captain Marvel about to get upstaged by Monica Rambeau and Ms. Marvel. We, we'll see how it turns out, but fun little episode. Terrence out.